Welcome to a slightly different view than you guys are used to. We are back in the caravan like the jewel in 2022 if you watch these things. We are back in old blighty, old England and I cannot be more pumped to be here. The whole crew is here for the Oxfordshire Pro-Am and it is going to be a good day. The bit of backstory, I had to miss the last event in San Giovese because of my cousin's wedding. So I had to let the team go on and fight for themselves and obviously wasn't there to vlog. John Travers got his first win since 2018 which is insane. It's really, really awesome to hear. No one does more for this sport than that guy. Jamie took the win as well. Will got second, and I believe Ali got third. However, we are back in my home country now, and obviously Will's. We had Jamie, John, and Ali Garcia up at my home lake, which is about two and a half hours north of where we are now. Obviously, Will grew up there as well. Practice was done yesterday. It was... It's going to be interesting. We'll, we'll say that. The... It's pretty rolly. The water is up. There's pallets on top of the dock because the water is so high. There was a lot of rollers coming off this close bank to us and pushing out to kind of three, four, five through the middle of the course and making it quite tricky. Jamie practiced really well. Will practiced well as well, and I think John, but I had a little bit of a tricky situation and I didn't do at all what I wanted to do. I've actually changed my fin before round one. You will find out very soon whether that was a good idea or not. But I mean, I missed two 11s or 38s in, or maybe three 11s or 38s in the practice. So that's obviously not a big confidence booster. And normally I wouldn't be so quick to jump, but I actually changed my fin back home to try kind of help with the colder water. And I think actually I was being helped by the boat more than anything. So to go back to a Nautique felt like I needed to put that fin back to where it was beforehand and where it's been all season. Not a ton of people here this weekend. I think there's seven women, 12 men. The depth in the men's field is pretty solid. It's not actually going to be that easy to make the finals. So a good score is going to need to be put out. Probably not through 39, but it's going to be very close. So the goal is to get through that 39 today. Honestly, after yesterday, to get through the 38. Yeah, that's going to be the plan. Let's go have some fun in my home country. It is fully hitting English temperatures. The sky is as great as ever the wind is freezing cold but hey we're here this is England I'm built for it well was we'll see if I still am sledge went down early Aaron Davies did incredibly well to get through that 39 he's got a 1 at 41 or 25 and this has been his home site for the past few years so he looked pretty comfortable 39 was rough he's shown what's possible so now it's on us to try replicate Corey Vaughn's out there now um, and then I think that's about five till me. So let's see kind of what these scores are leveling out at. The goal again is to get deep 39, if not run it. Um, but after yesterday's practice, 38's also in there with the goal. So fingers crossed we do good and yeah, so let's go get rolling. just tough i mean the conditions are technically fine but as soon as you mess up it's very hard to get back in it i made obviously a huge mistake at two ended up putting my body in the water literally and just it was impossible for me to recover i needed a good three didn't get it I needed a good four impossible is the wrong word but when i didn't get a turn i was just done by five and it does put me in top eight for now obviously that's probably not going to hold with like adam saddlemeyer behind me honestly i think the biggest issue was gates today slow 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 on the gates and everyone was saying the same thing we move on i don't want to dwell on round one you know the team did super well sasha is in the lead right now with a one at 41 he's tied with aaron davies john's currently in with a two and a half at 39 will with a four and a half at 39 so the teams keep pretty well they're looking good on the standings it's just me i'm right at the bottom a little bit nerve-wracking tomorrow but fingers crossed for some better gates some better ski tonight we do have a skiers dinner it's gonna it's a team event so it's gonna kind of announce our partners in the team and i think there's four amateurs and with match with a pro i feel sorry for the amateurs that got me as a pro but let's go ahead to that and have a good time <laughs> how do you rate our english cuisine delicious better than italian <laughs> we all know that's a lie All right, good morning. Um, my girlfriend arrived last night, which was super fun. We got to go out for dinner. The dinner last night was super awesome. A cool little experience for the people obviously not from England to kind of get a little sense of a few English meals, fish and chips, the beef steak 
Yorkshire pudding roast dinner kind of thing and um, bangers and mash. So, but right now we are go time. Had the classic bacon, sausage and eggs for breakfast and we are ready to go. I need the ski well today. No guarantees that Sledge is going to obviously not do better than he just did. I need to punch my way into the final properly and I want to get a good seating because I don't really want to be off early in the dark. Conditions look solid today. Bend those knees on those rollers and go just ski. You know, these are the same, hard to do. Got about half an hour till I go, so let's see how we roll. All right, well, I managed to squeeze my way in to the final. Um, yeah, managed to take up last spot. Obviously, Sledge going out before me, throwing out a, a one at 41 was a huge score. I knew I had to go out there and at least get the three. Um, and I think if I'd have honestly stopped at three out of, I think John would have saved you two a hell of a lot more and put me out. So um, I was very, very lucky to, for the ski to kind of rotate somewhat at three, as you can see, and then be able to just kind of smash the shoulder at four, and I was just hauling into five. Got to be able to move a little bit more confidently in the final, but hey, night final, that is going to be so, so, so exciting. Sasha got a three at 41, which is insane. I mean, the 39s are pretty immaculate. He's swinging so well. He's moving so confidently. He does ski on a river, I think, a lot of the time. That's his home site almost, so I think he's a little more used to the movement than anyone. Aaron Davies looks fantastic. Will ran through 39 but missed his gates on 39 which to me it seems like a, it seems like a bit of a ploy um, I think he's been going very well starting out early pack and I think it's a good way for him to run the pass get a sense for it and then also get the score of that's going to put him first out in the finals and then John unfortunately went out and got one and a half at 39 um, just kind of didn't commit and ended up kind of blowing the fin out the back more than anything just unfortunate for John but hey that's going to be five syndicates in the final going out in the dark it's going to be spicy I'm excited to see it and yeah let's let's have a good time I think the crowd's going to be crowd it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be awesome to be in front of the home team, and yeah, let's go rip it. How are we feeling? Great. Great. Fantastic. Young. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's a little routine. We'll say routine. that. I feel like we're gonna ski into the unknown shortly. Pretty much. Yeah. That's that's what looks like it, especially from this view. It's like jungly a bit. Don't worry, no, you can't see any of it. <laughs> How are we feeling about the night song? I've never done it. I've never done it. You've done it, right? Kind of. So you just feel as fast as it does it jump. Yeah, it's like, imagine how Sam normally feels and then just like, make it way worse. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm it excited. might be better because you can't even see anything. So. Yeah, I feel like pulling out for your gates is going to be harder. The to gates judge, are already like, weird. Gate yeah. speed and stuff. Yeah. I think you got to trust yourself. Yeah. Right. Be shy. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, she's gonna be fun. Okay, we are getting ready. It is um, gonna be awesome. They're getting the lights turned on now. I'm so excited for this. This is gonna be a fun event. I have no idea how it's gonna feel. I did a Moomba Nights on, I think, 2020. So four years ago now, and <laughs> that's my only experience. I think it's gonna be very different here. It's gonna be a lot less slid up than the middle of the city in Melbourne. And yeah, it's just all gonna be a little, a little different. I think we've gotta take the same approach as we do in the day. Attack, 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 attack and just create space swing with speed but let's let's go see how the women do um, i'm excited for this one ali and jamie obviously in the final i think they're two top seeds so that's going to be super fun to see and yeah it's going to give me a good telltale sign as well of how it's skiing all there uh, for our first time pro in this how are you feeling about your <laughs> I was first like, ever night slalom <laughs> i was feeling okay until i watched the webcast and it's like pitch flat Theo went out and uh skied pretty well, so I think that was uh, maybe confidence inspiring for us down here, but yeah, watching the webcast, it's like, you, yeah, a black wall down at the far end. you feeling? <sighs> um, I'm excited. <laughs> Haven't done it in a long, long time. Um, it definitely got a lot darker. I went down into the dock to try to look at it, and I think I was like looking at a different <laughs> direction than what the course actually was, and I was like, where are all the buoys? <laughs> And I looked a little more left and they were actually all there and lit up. So, no, I think it'll be exciting and fun. So, we'll see. Got a couple more skiers to go. Hopefully they ski well and we'll be able to feel a little more confident going out. But, uh, busting the shirt out because it's cold. Are you American? And I'm not tough. So... <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's, yeah. do, let's do it. Good yeah. luck. Yeah, thanks. Smash it. Enjoy it. I don't. I don't really know how you can see me so well. This camera's actually pretty good. It's it's tough out there. Those lights are very spotlight esque. You've got one little tube of light that you're gonna ski through, and then it's gonna feel very dark again. So it's gonna be a lot of changes. Everyone's got the same conditions, which is great. But yeah, it's not easy out there. We have three people all with three at twelve, and Ali Garcia got two on her first pass. So um, it's tough out there. It's not gonna be easy. 
Um, but the only thing we can do is go have our, have our best shot and hope that we're naturally suited to it, hey? It's gonna be fun out there. I'm excited to give it a go. And hey, how many times do you get to Salem in the pitch black with a few spotlights on there? So let's have a good time. Hopefully put up a big score early. Good thing is I'm after Will. So I'm gonna know exactly what's possible because he normally goes out there and stumps it. Um, and obviously Jamie and Ali are gonna show us what's done. So excited for this. Coming in on 11.25 meters, uh, Ali Nicholson. This looks like a pretty good gate. Let's see what Allie can do with this 11. She knows, oh, that's a slow one. Can she get something back here at two? Uh, she had to go for that at two. She didn't have a choice. Jamie Ball comes into the course. See how this uh, works its way out. It's Jamie Ball, 11.25 meters, a little bit slow off number one. Good to go round number two. She makes up Big for two. that deficit. Oh no. Oh no, and she gets round buoy number three. And that's the end. We survived, so we are, we'll take that away. Manon skied out of her mind. Yeah, so I think after she skied that well, she definitely, yeah, definitely deserves her. that win. Yeah. So um, I know standing on the dock, I was like, holy cow. And then I was like, okay, well, maybe it's not that scary. And then yeah. I left the dock, and it was equally as scary as I would anticipate. Yeah, I think both of us were considering the 14 start. Neither of us started 14 ever. And then when we were getting ready, you know, I heard it a bunch that it was better to from the far end. So taking 11 from the far end probably was the move. But I was like a little nervous to start at 14 and miss my first pass because I was like 14 in the dark no, Not so confident so start at 13 to just try and keep it consistent and feel comfortable on my first pass But I think really the smart decision may have been to start at 14 if I could be confident to run it and take 11 from the other end but the dark and the fast I mean my first pass felt like 36 miles an hour for More sure. Than that. I was like, oh my god. I told we dropped on the, the end. end. I, was I was like, I should have been training at 36. That's exactly what I said. I said we should have just run 36 yeah, all weekend because yeah. that felt so fast. That's but yeah. uh, it was fun. Now we're excited to cheer on the boys. Yep. Woohoo! Woo! In we roll with the men. Will was up first. He managed to get through his first two passes but struggled into this 38. He came in saying how tough it was. As you can tell, their gates were not been watched, which was awesome. It gave us a little bit of room for error. Probably messed me up here. Super narrow at one and then just hit two. And here's the last of the HO crew, Sasha, coming in. 35, getting a big hit out of three. And that one's going to sting in the morning. Everything just came at you so, so, so fast. But some people dealt with it a lot better than others. Here is Corey Vaughn. 39 off, gets a killer start and gets a piece of the three just. He laid everything out for it and he was your winner. Yes. And that is all she wrote for the Oxford Pro Slalom. Jamie and Ali ended up second and third and for the first time this whole year there wasn't a syndicate on the men's podium. But congrats to all the guys. It was a tough finish to the Europe Tour but one we will for sure remember. We will see you guys in the next one. Ciao for now!